All right, the way it stands right now, corporations can donate as much as they want to certain political action committees, and they don't have to tell anybody. The Occupy movement has inspired one lawmaker to try to stop that. He's introducing an occupied amendment to the U.S. Constitution. It would ban the, U the use of corporate profits to pay for political ads and certain other activities. These books have no relationship to that. I'm joined now by the congressman, Democrat Ted Deutsch of Florida. Congressman, thank you for being with us this morning morning and you know how well, would this amendment you. work we we put it on screen for a second but how would this work sure uh, thanks for having me the amendment is really very clear it simply says that corporations are not people under the constitution they don't have the same rights afforded to natural citizens mm -hmm. And, and that as a result, corporations cannot spend money in elections. Uh, the one thing that's, that's clear about all of the protests around the country, uh, about the frustrations that people have with what happens in Washington, is that for too long the corporate interests have been in charge. It's the corporations that have occupied Washington. We need to give the government back to the people. Okay, so that's what's inspired you to come up with that amendment. Uh, when we look at the Supreme Court, this is what is, you're alluding to really uh, with this proposed mm -hmm. amendment. You're going back to January 2000. 10. Corporations and unions, because of that decision by the Supreme Court, can use profits to pay for political ads in that landmark Citizens United case, which we're both very familiar with. Now, essentially, corporations are people, they are saying, when it comes to free speech. Now, your amendment seeks to try to ban corporations specifically from giving all this cash, as, as you have intimated right. there. But you, you did not include unions. You did not include nonprofits. Why does that make sense there? Well, the, the one thing that's clear to anyone, whether you're, you've been protesting somewhere in the country or you're some of the seniors that I represent who can't believe that we have a government that, that looks to cut Medicare and Social Security first instead of eliminating corporate tax breaks for oil companies, the one thing that's clear is that a for-profit corporation that was formed for the purpose of making money shouldn't be able to spend millions or hundreds of millions of dollars on campaigns. But why not nonprofits? Why campaigns. not unions, too? And, because because nonprofits, what the amendment does is it acknowledges that nonprofits, that unions, that individuals, those nonprofits and unions are comprised of individuals. They should be subject to regulation. It should be a reasonable set of reg campaign finance regulations, which right now Congress can't pass. So for for-profits, it takes the money out altogether. Everybody agrees that corporate money shouldn't be in. For nonprofits, for unions, for any other groups that are comprised of individuals, they're going to be subject to regulation that Congress passes to limit uh, to limit their involvement, limit expenditures. We're trying to, to get back to a system that's fair for all of the people. All right, now, now this issue is going to be revisited and we won't drill down further on what you're just discussing. Sh shouldn't this issue go through the, the judicial system since it made it up through the Supreme Court and was already uh, turned down? Sure. I, unfortunately, this is the only option that we have, amending the Constitution. Citizens United uh, interpreted existing law. Their interpretation of the Constitution says that corporations have the right, the, the right to participate, spend unlimited amounts of money in campaigns. The only way to shut that door, the only way to prevent the court from going further and saying that corporation, corporations can give directly to candidates is to amend the Constitution so that it's the people who are in charge of their elections and our democracy. You are a bold congressman. Uh, we've been watching what's been happening in Washington, D.C. as of late. Uh, nothing seems like it can get through. Why do you think that this might actually make some progress? Uh, well, you know, we introduced this Friday late in the day uh, before Congress uh, came home for the, the Thanksgiving week. Uh, we were going to start talking about it this weekend, but what we've seen on the web over the weekend, what we've seen in the response that we've gotten from, from people across the political spectrum is that people are tired of, of what they see as a government that functions more for the special interests and corporate interests than it does for the public interest. Uh, there's real momentum. Uh, I think that the, the positive response is going to continue to build it helps to, to really further a movement and, and give people something to focus on that's going to give the government back to the people. Well, good luck to you, Congressman. It is a tough environment, Thanks. as we've been talking about here. Ted Deutsch of uh, Florida, appreciate it. Thank you. T today's tweet of the day comes from comedian Steve